this is a, a test that doesn't do the, the students or parents or teachers much good. The I-STEP scores are back, and they're not good. See, how, for, how are teachers preparing students for the next exam? Good evening, everybody. I'm Brett Thomas. And I'm Heather Heron. Not only are the scores way down across the state, they're also very late in being released. It's a look at how our Allen County Public Schools did here. Combining math and English, Fort Wayne Community Schools scored just under a 44% passing rate, a 25% drop from last year. East Allen County Schools came in at 52%, also a 20-point drop. Northwest Allen County Schools had the highest passing rate locally with just under 70 percent and Southwest Allen County Schools had 68 percent. Both of those districts are down more than 15 percent. While those numbers may shock you, local districts say the scores aren't the best indication of how students are doing. News Channel 15 Sarah Wagner talked to leaders about the results today. She joins us live from outside Fort Wayne Community School headquarters. Sarah? Leaders here at the Grile Center and other local districts say it is frustrating to get these scores back so late in the year. They usually come out early fall, but they also tell us the results don't show enough to truly change or impact instruction. It's a result. It's one piece of data on one day. While the I-STEP often gets the most attention, district leaders say it gives little information compared to other tests used during the year. All it tells us is who passed and who failed. It does not give us any information as to why students pass or why students fail. It's really just designed to give you a picture in time, and unfortunately, way too much emphasis is put on it so that when it doesn't work, the whole system crumbles down. That's the danger in having a very narrow measure to describe something as complex as children learning. That lack of in-depth results, just one reason districts supplement I-STEP with other lessons in diagnostics. And we don't define excellence as being a test score. In response to the results, EACS said in part, quote, the delay in receiving I-STEP results did not hinder our instructional efforts to increase the academic success of our students, and that is thanks to the incredible efforts of our teaching and support staff. FWCS also reacting, saying in part, quote, these results and the delay in their release are additional examples of the flawed accountability system in our state. We are a month away from starting another round of I-STEP testing, and we are just now getting the results from a year ago, results that have had no impact on the instruction going on in our classrooms all year because the information was not available. We need to get serious about creating an accountability system that parents, students, and educators find meaningful. The next round of I-STEP testing starts February 29th. Reporting live outside the Grial Center, Sarah Wagner, News Channel 15. If you want to see how your district scored, we have made it really easy for you. Go to our website, wayne.com, click on the I-STEP story on our homepage, and there you'll find several links to those test scores.